I got involved in competitive swimming when I was eight years old. I, I think I just did it just because my friends were doing it at the time. I think that's how most people get involved in sports. Okay, well, my friend's gonna do it or whatever. And then uh, once you start to realize that you start to get better, like, oh, I'm pretty good at this. And then, then you really put a little bit more effort into it. And then you start to really dream about what it is possible in the sport. I wake up at uh, four mornings a week when I was 13 years old. From, from then on, it was four mornings a week, two hours in the morning. So eight hours in the morning practices, and then two hours at night, 10 hours. So from the age of like 13 to 14 on, I was training 20 hours a week. I was one of the best swimmers in Canada going into the, into the Olympic trials in 1996. I was 19, my last year of high school. I finished first in two events. However, there was a certain standard that Canada was putting on it for us to go, for anyone to go, and I didn't make those standards. So it was frustrating as in effect because I was the best in our, in our country, but wasn't able to go. And I almost was done with the sport. But it doesn't matter, right? If you want it, it doesn't, nothing is gonna stop you, right? Like if you want it bad enough and you're willing to work hard enough, you're still gonna achieve it. And then four years later, I qualified as an alternate for a relay. And um, when they finally got me out of the pool, the person said, congratulations, you just made the 2000 Olympic team. And I was like, are you sure? I just wanna be sure because I had just missed it earlier. My biggest sense of satisfaction was winning a medal, a relay medal with the Windsor Aquatic Club. And the reason it was so satisfying is because it was done with my brother on the team, my older brother, Matt, four years older, Steve Watson and Steve Thomas, all guys born and raised in Windsor. And we're racing against teams from University of British Columbia and University of Calgary, where they were able to take the best of their provinces. And for us, it was four homegrown Windsor boys. And that was actually my best, my, or my most um, satisfying moment in swimming because I had won individual medals before at, at a senior nationals or a junior nationals, but these guys hadn't. And for them, for, for them to get on the podium, for me, it was a big deal as well. I'm a coach, like I coach swimming. So there's not any situation that I would feel uncomfortable in. I've, I've swum at and competed at all levels, um, from the, the smallest one right to the top. So if there's an experience that one of my swimmers is going through, I can relate, which makes it a little bit easier. And then I just, I enjoy it. And uh, that's my way of giving back to the sport that's given to, so much to me. Well, I'm extremely happy. It's, it's an awesome chance to, to have my name, my last name, live on past, when, I, when I'm gone and when, when everybody else is gone, that name will last, right? And I, I feel really happy for my parents, right? And um, it's something that I can say that I can give back to them. Don't get me wrong, I'm ecstatic for myself, but I'm more happy for everybody else that supported me, right? It's sort of validation of, okay, this is why we put up with this guy for so long to get to that level.